Good day, everybody. How are you doing? <clears throat> well, today I want to do a video about uh, number stations. <laughs> I know most people don't know what a number station is. Heck, <laughs> two weeks ago, even I never heard of uh, number stations. And the reason I discovered uh, these number stations because I saw this freaking movie you have to see this freaking horror movie <laughs> it'll make you jump out of your seat <laughs> um, now the, the the story behind this movie is that um, it's it's an MK Ultra project from the CIA if you don't know what MK Ultra is it is mind control uh, usually uh, in combination with very powerful drugs to control people to yeah take control of them make them do shit and the drug in this movie used is DMT and DMT can only be found in the human brain it is the pineal gland to be exact and in this movie <laughs> they even extract it directly from the brain and then inject it to someone else and this person goes berserk Pwah. I think if if this is true and this movie is based on uh, yeah how you say that uh, true stories and stuff and now I understand why DMT is illegal <laughs> um, yeah so numbers number stations there's also an, uh, a website dedicated to it. Um, it has a schedule. They know exactly when these number stations come up because they're quite ron uh, random and they only broadcast for yeah just differently from one minute to ten minutes. <coughs> and the next one is in five minutes at this frequency. And the funny thing is you can find these you you can listen to this online uh, I was uh, digging deeper into this stuff I wanted to buy an, uh, a receiver with an antenna and stuff but this shit is freaking expensive <laughs> you have to think about thousands and thousands of euros but there's a cheaper way um, that's called an uh, SDR antenna it's a pain in the ass to install <laughs> even with the driver you have to uh, go to the DOS prompt and s type all kinds of uh, instructions and then you have to download another program that's called uh, HDR uh, HDR SDR or something but there's a cheaper way <laughs> it's free <laughs> to be exact it's called wideband web SDR so this these people from the University of Twente in Enschede Hollanda <laughs> they made it uh, available to a server here's a little bit in uh, description mini whip antenna a home-built SDR board <laughs> this is home-built <laughs> damn and yeah um, which samples the entire shortwave spectrum and sends all of this via gigabit internet link to a PC and these guys were the first in the world to do this and yeah so here you got this uh, this is called the waterfall by the way and the beauty the beautiful thing about SDR is you can see you can see the frequencies all these lines that is a frequency that is broadcasting in this whole spectrum you can zoom in and when you zoom in you see all these patterns and yesterday <laughs> I found one at least some guys in here they uh, found something very kind people here especially this Rob guy is very very pro 
and yeah sometimes these people uh, post uh, the frequency of, of a number station that they have found I also have uh, written down a couple of number stations and yeah <laughs> let's just listen to it it's it's quite creepy <laughs> and man there is so much weirdness going on over the radio all these signals that are surrounding us <laughs> it's bizarre <laughs> check out this strange signal that bleeps every couple of seconds beep beep <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> it's said that uh, it's usually military and stuff and uh, yesterday I also uh, listened to Pyongyang radio <laughs> <laughs> with their dictator style commenting <laughs> and yeah okay so let's dive into this I've got it muted right now so uh, unmute it there is nothing in this region this slider is your uh, yeah, your, your dial knob. <laughs> I put it a little bit softer. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just giving you a uh, demonstration. What's this? It sounded like Morse code. Here. Some kind of. Russian military pro probably or something. Yesterday I also found an uh, uh, that was the weather forecast for aviation. I found some Morse code yesterday. <laughs> oh, what's this? You can also make the, the band wider. Here. What the hell was that? Probably some radio station. Let's check it out on AM. I also found out that these lines can be uh, weather storms and lightning strikes. Weird. More radio stuff. Here also is some kind of... What, what the hell is this on the right? also some kind of machine that's reporting or something strange 
Okay, um, let's see if we can find some number stations. Yesterday um, they found one at what was frequency 4622.00. It's the famous buzzer. Nobody knows what it's for, what it does. <laughs> it's a complete mystery. Have a listen. Yesterday they uh, also found a number station, it was an American. I wrote it down in here. And they had some kind of, uh, I don't know, a secret code or something, and it, it was white ash. What the hell, white ash. And its frequency was 8992.00. Zero now there's some kind of weird stuff going on. So you have to be really lucky to uh, you have to be really lucky to find a number station that's active, unless you have you know these kind of things. But these guys already figured out that some broadcast every 20 minutes or every half an hour um, what do we have more oh yeah yesterday I've, uh, somebody sent a link <coughs> that was called link 11 and it was the sound of uh, military aircraft that constantly communicate uh, the frequency was uh, 50 57.5 Wow, there's some really creepy stuff going on right here. This is still that white ash, by the way. Oh no, sorry, <laughs> this is white ash. Oh, white ash is gone. That was white ash, also offline. Um, maybe we can listen to uh, Radio Pyongyang. <laughs> Nope, not working. <laughs> Let's see what these guys have found. What's this? very strange. Weird. Oh, somebody found an, uh, somebody found a clear audible today from Korea. Welcome in North Korea. Let's 
si jistě jsi... Můžou mít rádi. Ale jo, rádi se mít můžou. Ha. Ale nesmí to být láska. Ček, ček a zlovaky. Jinak musí od sebe. My taky. Cože, co, co mi taky? Kvůli vám tomu musíme od sebe? Co to plácáš? <laughs> oh, you can, you can spend hours on this stuff. It's, it's fascinating. I'm still a... Uh, let me mute this. I'm still a beginner. I don't even know what FM stands for. <laughs> I'm such a noob. <laughs> what the hell does FM stands for anyway? Let's learn something here, guys. Uh, meaning? What does FM mean? Uh, okay. Ah, of course. Frequency modulation. Duh. <laughs> and then we have, of course, AM. Let's have a quick lesson about AM. It's hard to type today. Urban Dictionary. Frequency modulation. Yeah, that's... Ah, dumbass. AM. No, <laughs> not AM of PM. <laughs> uh, ah, shit. AM meaning radio. AM broadcasting. AM stands for amplitude modulation. Okay, so we got ampli amplitude modulation and frequency modulation. You can see the the waves, the sound waves. Well, AM is completely different. Yeah. So um, if if you're interested in the, in this stuff, uh, you can go to web sdr dot e w i dot u t w e n t e dot n l or you can just search in google for wideband web sdr so uh yeah i hope if i informed you uh more about this really really interesting stuff there's a lot a lot to learn a lot of lot of info and yeah, maybe you'll find a number station too someday and be uh, creeped out. Nine, nine, four, four. Repeat. Nine, nine, four, four. <laughs> yeah. And what's the meaning of it? Nobody knows. So uh, take care, guys. Thank you for watching. <clears throat> thank you for listening. I want to also thank all you, all of you guys, for subscribing. I'm not that kind of YouTuber that brags, please, please subscribe, please like. No, <laughs> if people like your stuff, they will do it automatically anyway. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And uh, have a nice day, nice evening. Bye, see you.